All right, for episode three, we are getting on the highway to head to East Met High School. East Met will be hosting Myers Park, the number one team in the state in 4A baseball. They are off to a 12-0 start. Um, I'm going to let Coach Haynes dissect Myers Park and East Met. Yeah, so this should be an uh, interesting game. Myers Park has quite a few uh, college commits on their team, uh, led by... Patrick Alvarez, the middle infielder, headed to North Carolina next year. Uh, high spark plug guy. Uh, so excited to see him a little bit today. On the mound for Myers Park tonight is going to be Crawford Wade. He's headed to Air Force. He's a junior this year. So he'll be at Myers Park for another year after this year. Um, they also have Preston Hall, who's also a, a junior, headed to College of Charleston. Uh, it's a big bat in their lineup. I'm sure he produces a lot of RBIs in that lineup for them. And uh, they also have a another pitcher, Matt Hunter, who was committed to Coastal Alabama. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to see him tonight. And then we have Prez Cavanaugh, who is headed to LR up to Hickory. Lenore play, uh, Ryan, baby. Play Lenore Ryan next year. So, you know, obviously they're a talented club. Obviously, you know, they're 12-0. and So they're... They're going to have a, uh, a pretty good squad on the field tonight. And they're taking on East Mech, who has uh, Trey Truitt, who's a big left-handed bat. Uh, could give them a little bit of trouble tonight. So, it's, you know, looking forward to it. Ready to get on the road and uh, fight this traffic of Charlotte tonight. Hopefully we don't hit too much. Uh, 704, baby. Here we come. Yeah, we're, we're coming. We're trying to get on the road a little early. 3.30, so hopefully we don't hit too much traffic right now. That's right. Puts us an hour ahead of game time. That's right. That's right. So let's talk a uh, let's talk a little uh, high school baseball a little bit. What what you got on the 2020 class? Who's the best unsigned guy you got in the 2020 class right now? What position? Let's do catcher. All right, we'll start at catching. There's three names that come to mind as far as catchers in the state of North Carolina uncommitted. I'll start with Michael Carrico. 2020 at Glenn High School, left-handed hitter, good runner, which you don't normally find in the position of the catchers. Um, he can catch and throw, very solid behind the dish. Um, we got, hey, three hill Hillier. That dude has a hauser behind the plate. Whew. Let me tell you, he can sling it around a little bit. He can also get on the mound and uh, throw in the mid upper 80s. Yep. So, you know, big, le uh, well, not not a big guy in statue, but you know, a good left-handed bat. Uh, coming out of Asheville High School. Number three in the state. Number three in the state. Have a good year right now. And then we got, uh, I think your other one is probably going to be Chet Sykes. Am I You're correct? on it, man. You're on it. Chet Sykes. Yeah, he's a he's another good one over at Wesleyan Christian uh, over here in High Point. Uh, yep, right up the road here. And yeah, that's, always, right. that's an always talented club. Yeah, Scott Davis does a great job over there. Will Myers played over there. That's the name everybody knows. Absolutely. Um, but no, Scott does a great job at Westland. Um, let's go first baseman. Who would you top first baseman uncommitted in the state? Who you got? Man, I tell you, uh, Hogan Stallings has had a pretty good uh, spring so far. You know, he's he's put a, put a lot of work in the off season and is starting to show here this spring. I think he's you know three or four home runs, you know, the, the power is starting to translate to games right now. So I think he's he's the one that comes to my mind uh, right now. Who, who you got? Oh, you took mine. Uh, yeah, Hogan's had a good good uh, spring season so far. You can really tell he's really worked on fine-tuning his body, getting in better shape, and he's stronger than he was a year ago from, that, from now. Um, Let's go middle infielders. What you got? Top middle infielder uncommitted. Top middle infielder uncommitted. Let's see. I got to think. I saw a kid the other night that's a senior by the name of Tyler Campbell okay. that plays at uh, Urari Charter. He hit in a two-hole for him. Um, he could really pick it. He would be a great addition to somebody's lineup next year. Um the bats have got a little work to do, but he can really pick it defensively. That when you look for somebody in the middle infield, especially a shortstop, you want somebody that can actually show the leather a little bit. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
what you got on what arms do you think are the best uncommitted arms in North Carolina right now? Best uncommitted arms. I'm going to first start with Danny Heights, 6'5", yes. right-hander at Green Hope, and it is straight downhill. Um, I think we talked a little bit about him in episode one. I, I saw him. He was up to 89 that night with a 75-mile-an-hour breaking ball. He's a good arm that's uncommitted. Who you got? Uh, I'm going to dip into the 21 class. I, I really liked uh, Zach Lewis. Uh, he was 84-86 when I saw him with a good breaking ball around 73-74. Uh, you know, he's made some jumps from, you know, this past year to this year. Uh, and it's, it's, it's an easy, easy 86 right now. Um, you know, that, he's, he's made some jumps. I'm excited to see what what's going to continue to grow there with him. Let's go outfielders. What you got? Name a couple outfielders. I got a couple in mind. You want me to go first? Go first. Let me see. All uh, right. I got Mount Tabor. I got Jeffrey Davis. No doubt. Yes. Jeffrey Davis has got some tools. He can play. He's going to be a corner outfielder the next level. Loud contact. Um, he's a really strong kid. We've got another name from the other side of the plate. Andrew Fricks from Ooh, Eastern yes. Wayne. He's probably a 6'8", 7'0 runner with very loud contact. If you guys, I actually was lucky enough to see Fricks yesterday, and he reminds me a little bit of Nathan Hood from Whiteville and back in 2013. Nathan Hood ended up going to NC State. I'm not saying they're the same player. I'm just saying there's some comparison there. Um, who you got? I like, as far as an athlete, I like Khalil Watson. You talk about a guy with bags of tools, as Andy Parton at Twitter said. Bags of tools. Six eight runner, left-handed hitter, really a good spark plug um, for Mike Joyner and company. Yeah, he does some things. You're just like, wow. Yeah, he is a different level kid. Yeah, he's he, he's a he's gonna be a special one, I believe. All right, let's talk about top arms in North Carolina, seniors and juniors, and we'll throw in a sophomore too in there too. Um, what you got? I have Chris Villeman from Ledford High School, up to 94. Uh, pretty good one right there. Uh, headed to NC State next year. NC uh, State. Got AJ Wilson, another left-hander, who has been really good, has a devastating slaughter. Uh, then we have Cannon Piquel uh, from down at the coast, Akira Tuck. That's right. Uh, so what you, well, who you got? Who you got in mind? I've got, I'm going to start out back in Currituck, the 6'10 right-hander, Austin Pace, who is also going to NC State. I've got um, Nolan McLean, let's not forget him. Nolan McLean's was been up to 94. He's an uncommitted junior. Hashtag uncommitted. Yeah, uh, that's an interesting one. I've got a name, Seth Keener. He has been up to 90. He's a five, or excuse me, he's a six foot right hander out of East Surrey. He has barely touched this surface. Um, him and AJ is a good combo there. And I've got another left-hander, Blake Walston, out of New Hanover. Now, he is a senior, uh, New Hanover, well-represented. Um, they're number six in the country, but he leads that charge. He is a six-foot-six left-hander. Hey, and we also got Crest High School. Who am I thinking of? C.J. Mayhew. C.J. Mayhew. I love watching Hit that guy. Headed to the Pirates next year. Man, I, I like watching him throw, too. Man. Me, too, man. He just gets on it, and he's like, come get it. He competes, boy. He I like competes. Him. Um, that, that, that's a pretty good duo right there. We got, uh, like you said, Zach Lewis is a good 21 uncommitted arm. You got Garrett Get Horn from Glenn High School, a good uncommitted arm. Um, there's some good arms in the state of North Carolina. You got Matt Kemp, who's headed to NC State. We talked about him earlier. Good yep. breaking ball. I think uh, Merrick Beaker over at North yeah, Davidson. Yeah, he, he had a good start this past week, I believe. Yeah, he struck out 17. Yeah. Hey, the, the 
Red Rocket got busy. That's what the boys call him down there, Red Rocket. He's throwing Wednesday night against Randleman. Now, you talk about a game to see. Randleman is now number one in the state in 2A, and they're going to face Merritt Beaker. Merritt Beaker's throwing from a three-quarter slot. He's really worked hard over the last two years. Um, I was lucky enough to coach Merritt one summer, um, and he, he's really put in the work and the determination. Talking about left-hander, we saw Carson Wisenhunt the other night. He was a good one. Um, All right, so let's move into top programs in North Carolina. Let's do 4A first. How about, obviously, we're going to see Myers Park tonight, number one team in the state. Um, you know, they're, they're obviously a, a good program. Then we have Durham Jordan, who's all to a great start, not only on the field, but, you know, that Twitter game. The Twitter that, game's strong that right Aaron now. Aaron Jordan's got going on is strong, man. Aaron, Aaron Brown is throwing some monster tweets out he there. Sure Hashtag is. living it up. No doubt. And then we got Providence, who's always a powerhouse down here in the Charlotte area. They're off to a good start. Uh, into the mountain area, South Caldwell. Uh, team we saw last week, Davy County. Davy County. Uh, and then Jerry Morton's club, Broughton. They're off to a good start. They got a senior heavy uh, core group that's playing well right now. They do. Uh, then we have South Mech, another Charlotte oh, area yep. team. Audrey Kale, another Charlotte area team that's off to a good start. You know, Charlotte's, Charlotte's got some good baseball Charlotte's going on right now. Charlotte's got good baseball. Uh, and then back in the Raleigh area, we got Green Hope and Pine Crest. Pine Crest, Jeff Hewitt, my man Jeff down there. I hope you're watching this, man. He has always got solid clubs. He sure does. That's a team I wouldn't want to face because he's going to have them well coached. He's got he's got a good club every year. They are well coached, and he knows how to prepare for June or May. Excuse me. Um, how about Holly Springs? We got Holly Springs, Rod Whitesell. Yes. Uh, they got Matt Willison over there, 89-92 right-hander. Headed to NC State. Headed to NC State. Um, you've got uh, Apex over there. Apex is solid. Yes. You got Fuquay Verena, the one state championship last year. They're they're they solid again this young year. Arms too. You saw them early. That's I right. did get to see them. I saw uh, Keith started. He was good. Uh, junior. There you go, David Keith. Yes, he was an 86, 87. Then they brought in Ryan McChrystal, headed to the Pirates. He's a sophomore. He was 87, 89, and he was electric his first inning out there. He was. He was very good, and then they closed with Garrett, Garrett um, McGraw. McGraw, yes, he, uh, that's an unsigned senior. Unsigned senior uh, for some of you schools looking for a 2019 arm. Uh, so that was a good club. Talking about 2019 arms, uncommitted. Jerry Morton's got two of them. He sure does. Uh, Joe Barrow and Penn Seeley. Yeah, Penn Seeley and Joe Barrow, two good ones. Yes. Wish we had the opportunity to coach those guys. They were they're good players. They sure are. Um, let's move on to 3A. I'll crank it off here with the juggernaut, mm -hmm. New Hanover. Ooh. Richard Foy down there has done a great job. They've got, I mentioned Blake Walston earlier, left-hander going to NC State, very athletic family. You've got Alex Sniffen going to North Carolina Central, big hitter and a arm. Um, you got Kyle Smith behind the plate going to North Carolina. Uh, that's a that's a crew I would not want to run into come not. May. Um, then you've got I'm gonna go. You got Crest High School, um, who is always well coached. Stephen Hodge does a great job down there. They've been to back to back state championships. Let's see if they can get there again. Yeah. Two is tough. Let's see if they can do three. Yeah, get there again. You've got uh, Terry Sanford, Sam Guy. Love watching Sam's team play. They play extremely hard. They're well coached. That's the team I would not want to draw in the East either. And they got a pretty good arm in DJ Hurst on the mound. Yeah, he's going to the Tar Heel land. Um, he's a good one. And then you've got Asheville that has um, Bill Hillier coaching up there former coach at Duke University. Then we head over to Greenville. You got D.H. Conley. They've always got good players. Their team in the East that will be reckoned with this year as well. I think they're ranked fourth in this year, this week's rankings. Um, they, they, man, they've been good for years. Oh, yeah. um, who you got? 
Then you got uh, Rockingham County. Okay. Uh, Kobe Engel and company over there. Caleb Ketchy. There, there's an unsigned arm. Caleb Ketchy. Yes. Uh, Mid-80, 2021. Hey, you got an outfit over there, too. 2020 left-handed hitter, Alden Colasar. Yes. Good player. North Gas and another Charlotte area team in the 3A rankings uh, that we just put out earlier today. Uh, and then we got some uh, Wilson area teams. Wilson Fike and Wilson Hunt both off to a good start this year. Um, got a name for you, Wilson Wilson Fike. Chad Bean. Yes. 85-87 arm with a 74 mile an hour breaking ball. 2020 uncommitted. And behind, catching him, you got Garrett Browder that's going to Davidson. Yes. Good, good player. And then uh, you got Marvin Ridge, another team in this uh, Charlotte area, around that area. Uh, they, they've always been good. They've been good here recently. Um, yeah, always, always good. Always having man. a good club. The home of Max Wootel. Yes. Came there a couple years ago. Sure did. In 2A, it all starts at Whiteville, if you ask me. 2A, Whiteville, Mackenzie Gore, Turner Brown. Uh, Brett Horwood does an absolutely awesome job down there. Um, Randleman, Jake Smith, head coach, awesome job. Got Matt Kemp and Trey Cooper over there headed to, headed to the NC State Wolfpack. Mm -hmm. That's a good one too punch there. You got Midway, they're off to a hot start right now. Yep. Um, they're doing a good job this year. North Pitt, another Greenville area team. Ryan Meadows. Mm -hmm. They're doing a good job good down job. there. Good job. They've got a, they've got a right-hander. Um, who's going to uh, Davidson, uh, last name Peden, P-E-A-D-E-N, Peden. He was at our impact camp this past year. Really liked him, he's a, he's a mid-80, upper-80 guy. Um, there's a lot of good baseball. We got, we got another Greenville team, hey, Aiden Grifton. Okay, they're young this year, but they always do a good job over there. Corey Skinner and Will James, they put a lot of work into that program and they're always they're always in the mix at the end of the year with the North Lenores. That's the Wheat Swamp. Yep. That's back in my territory. Jackson Massey does a good group with that. He does. That's hey, club. that's your college teammate. Yeah, that's one. That's a guy I got to play with in college. He does a good job. Always always has his guy prepared, guys prepared, and it seems like they always make a deep run. For well. sure. Hey, got a name for you. If you know North Carolina baseball, you know this name. East Rutherford, the legend. Bobby Dell Reynolds. Anybody that's got their coaching number in the third base box at home is a legend. Okay. That's a juggernaut. That's a team you never want to play never. in the playoffs. But, but between him and RV at Rose, Ronald Vincent, those are two legends in North Carolina. Rose is another 4A program that's going to be in it late May because RV does an absolutely awesome job. And you've got Wes Stanley. Chad Yao does a great job as well over there. I really like Chad, and he always has his guys prepared. All right, let's round it out with 1A, and then we'll get on to the game and fight this I-85 traffic, guys. Hey, if you want to know what we're doing on a Monday afternoon at 5 o'clock, sitting on I-85, baby. So let's start at East Surrey. We just talked about them a little while ago. It's Coach Freeman over there is awesome, man. So you got Seth Keener. You got AJ Wilson. And then you got North Stanley. I saw them play the other day. You got Will Davis, who's coaching them. He's got two arms. They're both louders. Last name Louder. Rhett Louder is a 2020 uncommitted arm. Mid mid to upper 80s. Um, he'll probably make a commitment this summer. And Carson Louder came in the other night. He was 85, 87 with a 75 mile hour breaking ball. He's going to Western Carolina, the Catamounts. Um, they just beat uh, UNCG in a three game set this weekend. Um, you've always got um, you've always got West Columbus. One, two names we haven't mentioned that have been mainstays in the state of North Carolina are the Benton Boys. Cole Benton is going to UNCW, hashtag Omaha Hawks. And Cody Benton, right-hander going to East Carolina. And then you got 
Jagger Haynes, who's a junior going to North Carolina, he's a left-hander, so that's going to be a force to reckon with. That's three pretty good arms in a 1A level right well, there. Well, 1A level, I would not want to draw them. Um, and then you've got, you've also got um, Riverside over there. Uh, Hank Tice used to be over there, and now Leonard Allen, he's, they've always done a great job over there with that crew. Um, but man, we're excited to watch Myers Park today. The forecast for today, it's going to be around 45 degrees when, when the sun goes down. It's going to be cold, but the rest of the week looks rough. So we figured we had to get out and see a really good team play before the weather came. Absolutely. Hey, we'll be checking with you shortly. We are here with Gary Randall. Yes. I've met this man a few times. Met him a few times. We are filming the game here today. So we have got you. We are just on cam with Andy. So... Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. <laughs> what we got tonight? Myers Park, East Mech. Yep. Trey Truitt, Patrick Alvarez. Mm -hmm. Got a good one. That's why I'm here. That's right. Good to see you, my man. Always a pleasure. With, with two outs, was two to nothing, two to nothing, two outs in the top of the fifth, and then East Meg just could not stop the bleeding. They scored 11 runs with two outs on flares, on not really hard hit balls. And I mean, that guy just ran red light. Yeah, he sure did. He got tired of the red light not <laughs> turning green here. Um, but yeah, so interesting game. It should have still be going on two to nothing right now, honestly. It should be. That's so, um, yeah. But ask questions away. High school baseball. We're here to answer anything you guys have. Let us know about games next week. Uh, we're we're looking for games. We're looking for our next game of the week, which will happen next week. So let us hear it. We want to know good games happening all through North Carolina. You guys chime in, ask some questions here. We're here. We got a a good two hour ride. We won't be live the whole time, but we'll be live for a little while. Uh, we should get some interesting questions here. So uh, speak up, and we are on the way. We're heading I eighty five north, getting out of the seven oh four back into the middle part of the state. Here we go. So let's get us questions rolling to North Carolina High School Baseball. Let's hear some. We'll answer anything you got. Oh, 
All right, we got a question. First question in of the night. What would you think of Providence Day? Trey, I believe you saw them. You I got? saw them. Yes, I saw them in a non-conference matchup against High Point Christian. Uh, John Morelli did not throw. Um, kid going to Duke. Jake Sl Slattery got hurt his first at bat, little sophomore. I really like that guy. Um, Owen Tappy did not pitch either. Um, it was a non-conference game, so I can see they were just trying to get some depth there. Merritt Beaker has joined us. Big game for Merritt Beaker and uh, North Davis on Wednesday. Yeah, big game, Merritt. We got we got a big game, Randleman. Thoughts on Cox Mill? I gotta be honest. I had we hadn't seen Cox I Mill. Not seen Cox Mill. I know the Fox kid. I think it's Justin Fox, um, or Austin Fox. Austin just graduated last year. Thoughts on Salisbury. Salisbury. Um, Bo, Bo Roosher. Roosher. Bo Roosher. Gardner Webb. Gardner Webb. Haven't seen Salisbury yet. We've seen a lot of high schools in the state of North Carolina. We haven't seen all of them. But still got time. Yeah, we're going to be honest with you about things. When y'all coming to Pinecrest, Ryder Douglas? That's a great question, Ryder. Um, Pinecrest got ranked in the state today. They were ranked 10th. So you guys are doing well, Coach Hewitt. We Crest. talked about him earlier. Got a question on Chris. Oh, you can answer that one. Oh, man, Chris, that's that's one of the top teams in the state, in my opinion. C.J. Mayhew on the mound. They're going to be hard to beat when he's on the mound. C.J. Mayhew. Yep, and then they uh, got the right-hander, the, the tall right-hander. Yep, and then they got Lawson Harold. Lawson Harold. Campbell commit. Campbell.